Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'll be taking a look at and reviewing this Rod Arch Rod Bag. Right so here is the Rod Arch 130cm Rod Holder or Rod Bag. Um, I bought this online and I bought it because it looked good value for money so I paid about £23 for it brand new and it looks like a decent rod bag from the photos so let's open it up and take a look so on the label here it says um, rod arch fishing rod hold all 130 centimeters durable 600d polyester fabric padded for rod protection so there's some padding inside there for your rods that's great lightweight and strong So let's just open it up. Just flip this round. Right. So it's got the Rod Arch logo on it, Rod Arch Fishing Tackle. Um, apart from the main compartment, you've got two other compartments here. So I've got the tape measure here to check out the sizes. So the depths of these outer compartments it's around seven centimeters deep, that's fairly deep. You could probably get a rig wallet in here, a small reel, um, various small tackle, rod rest heads, things like that. Uh, width wise, it's about 15 centimeters wide by around 30 centimeters long. So definitely a useful compartment there. You could probably even get a small tackle box in there. If you wanted to. And then it has the second main compartment same dimensions again apart from the length the length on this one is about 67 centimeters so you could probably get some bank sticks in this one and even a telescopic rod so that's great color wise i like the color nice dark almost parrot green nice green doesn't look washed out looks quite strong and bold it's got a handle on here with a, i think it's neoprene or some sort of sponge To, uh, to carry it this way, which is great. So it's only a 130 centimetre bag. I love smaller rod bags. I always use three piece rods. I don't like two piece rods and I don't like long rod bags. I like a small rod bag that I can get in the car um, without it going sort of in between the two front seats and interfering with me changing gear. Um, I like to just be able to get it in the car without it coming right up to the front of the car. So, um, Instead of getting a bigger car, I buy smaller rod bags. So this is nice and compact. There isn't that many small, compact, decent quality rod bags on the market, in my opinion. So I'm glad I found this one. And it's got uh, the shoulder strap as well. Which is pretty standard. It's not padded or anything, but it probably doesn't need to be. It's not gonna take a lot of weight. So there's that. And the zips. The zips are just black, standard zips. Again, not much to say. Um, the zips themselves seem fair. So let's take a look at the main compartment. This is, again, has two zips. Opens up all the way, all the way around the top here. That opens up and then it opens up and it stops down just before the bottom here. And there you have the main padded section. So there's padding on either side. That's nice. One section. So you don't get two or three different sections. You've only got one, but that's great for me. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this loaded up with some tackle and uh, then we'll take another look at it. Okay, so now I've loaded up the rod bag with various stuff. Um, I'm not using that small pocket yet. I'm still thinking what to put there. I might put a towel in there or some rod rest heads, something like that. In this small compartment, I've got a couple of bank sticks and um, I've got this old telescopic rod. 
but that's useful if you ever need a second rod or for whatever reason this is just a good place to keep it I think a couple of bank sticks in there as I say plenty of room for a few more things too in the main section I've just got go and show you here um, I've got a landing net pole just here an old metal one real good quality I love that landing net pole and then I've got um, a lure fishing rod in here and I've got two other rods I've got a, an 11 foot match rod and a I think a 10 foot match rod plenty of room they all fit nicely in there they don't feel like they're crushing each other so probably get a bit more in there another rod or two so it's it's definitely uh, serving its purpose uh, a lot of the handle here that's useful and um, it's got plenty of space in it as well you can see it's sort of it's quite baggy um, you could fit a substantial amount more in here than I've put in I might put some more in uh, but it, it can easily fit five or six rods maybe um, at a push and you've also got these ones on the outside too and it's got the padding in there so I don't worry about my rods even just if you want to store rods in your garage I think they're better off in here than they are sort of leaning up against the wall falling over even if it's just for that I think it's good so if you're thinking about getting a small rod bag um, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more fishing related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.